This video is for the muscles of the lower limb. So we're looking at our anatomy table again. Actually, I've left one out that I'm going to go back and add. There we go. All right, so this muscle is iliacus because it fills the iliac fossa. This muscle is psoas major. So psoas major, iliacus. Now let's look at the muscles on the posterior thigh. Gluteus maximus. We'll go ahead. Uh, we'll go ahead and remove one of those. There. Deep to gluteus maximus, we see gluteus medius. Just inferior to that, we have piriformis. Our gemulus muscles, superior, inferior gemulus muscles. In between that, you have obturator internus, and then quadratus femoris there. Gluteus medius, piriformis, quadratus femoris. We're not going to worry about those gemulus muscles or that obturator muscle at the moment. Gluteus medius, piriformis, quadratus femoris. Let's roll them back around to the anterior leg. The longest muscle in the body from the lateral hip to the medial knee is that muscle that's called sartorius. This white band of fascia right here is called the iliotibial band or the IT band. Connected to that is this muscle. That's the tensor fascia latte. The word tensor fascia means it tenses fascia and latte is wide. So it tenses this wide band of fascia along the lateral thigh. Tensor fascia latte sartorius. We have our three muscles that we can see superficially here in the thigh. In the middle, rectus femoris. Rectus means straight, femoris is femur, straight down the femur. Medial side, vastus medialis. Lateral side, vastus lateralis. Now, if we remove that rectus femoris muscle, deep to that is the fourth muscle, and that's vastus intermedius. Collectively, those four muscles are called the quadriceps but you do need to know them individually. So vastus intermedius is the deeper muscle. We'd have to remove rectus femoris, and you can see that is removed there. So rectus femoris, right in the middle of the thigh. Vastus medialis on the medial side. Vastus lateralis on the lateral side. And then vastus intermedius is the deep muscle that's under rectus femoris. This muscle is pectineus. Next to pectineus, we have adductor longus. Then gracilis. Then adductor magnus. Keep rotating him all the way around to the back. In the back of the leg, we have biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. Sorry for the sudden addition of blood vessels and nerves. My shirt tail touched the table on the slider and I accidentally added all the things back. 
biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus. That should take us through muscles of the thigh. We come down here into the leg. Anterior to the tibia, conveniently, is a muscle called tibialis anterior. We've got two muscles running along the fibula. We have fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. Fibularis brevis. Fibularis longus. There's fibularis brevis. There's fibularis longus. Posterior leg. Calf muscle. Gastrocnemius. So here's your gastrocnemius, big calf muscle. Beside that. It's the soleus muscle. Soleus. Gastrocnemius. And these are the muscles of the leg that you should be able to identify. 